Welcome. In a previous video, I went over how to use the password generator in Keychain Access on a Mac. In this video, I want to talk about a feature of Keychain Access that can cause problems for you. At least it caused a problem for me and I want to share. So the other day I was in Safari uh, on this Ubiquity NanoStation web application. And I went down to my change password here and I clicked on it. And I fed it the current password for my keychain. And then it says, um, do you want to use a strong password or don't use a password? So I clicked use strong password. And ideally on this page, um, at some point they'll say, do you want to update the password in keychain? Well, it ended up not doing that. So what happened was it entered a strong password in here. I hit change. It stored the strong password in on the Ubiquity NanoBeam, and I didn't have any record of it in uh, my keychain access because for some reason it didn't save. So what would I recommend doing instead is I'd recommend hitting don't use. And if you watched my previous video, I talked about how to create a unique password. And I would go into keychain, create that password, and then paste it in here. And if it uh, prompts you to update the password, you can do that. If it doesn't, log out and log back in again, and you can use that new password, and then it should prompt you to update it. You can also go into Keychain Access and manually update it too. But at least you'll have a record of that, and you can make sure everything's working before you remove the password out of your uh, clipboard. So that's just a little problem I ran into. So once I had the password set on this device, and I didn't know what it was, I actually had to go and do a full reset on it. Thankfully, I had a backup of the configuration, so I got the um, this nano beam reset. I got the configuration uploaded again And then when I changed the password the second time I created a password in keychain first and didn't have any problems doing that So that's just my experience. If you have any questions about this, please leave it in the comments If you like this video, please click like if you haven't subscribed to my channel I'd appreciate it if you could do that and thanks for watching until next time. Goodbye